Lord be with you. Well, we have made so many of these videos that have specifically focused uh, content-wise and theme-wise on our adult participants uh, that I thought it was about time that we give a shout out to the kids. Uh, there are so many of our children and youth and students uh, who I got used to seeing faces on or of for a regular series of times each month. And, um, man, it has been so long since we have seen each other. So I just want to give a special shout out to you guys by name, uh, trying to remember even class by class, beginning with uh, Miss Jones' class. And, wow, I miss Miss Joan as well and Miss Ashley. Uh, and all the kids who hang out in Kitty Keep. Uh, I know Max and Finn have been a regular part of that. I know uh, Joshua and Micah have been a regular part of her group. Uh, and I still get to see them around town, uh, moving around on the sidewalks a bit. Uh, I know Cora and Clara have been part of that group as well. And just want to say hi to you guys uh, as we move up into Miss Pat's class. Um, Man, there are so many faces I miss from there, like Anakin and Rick. Uh, I think of Nettie. Uh, I think of Sam. Uh, I think of Amelia and Alyssa. Uh, as we kind of move into that elementary age group, uh, I'm thinking of Janie, uh, Lincoln, uh, Ella, Eva, and Lila. I'm thinking of Wally. Uh, as we get into the uh, middle school group, uh, I think of Ava and Ben and Lucas. Uh, I think of Ethan, although I do get to see him and Seth um, quite a bit. Um, I think of Trinity and Alicia. Uh, and then that high school group, uh, especially those who were part of kind of my coffee club on Sunday mornings uh, as we would get together for pastries and uh, mix some coffee and some creamer and some sugar together and uh, just talk about things. Uh, it's been so long since we've done that. Uh, so a special shout out to uh, Maddie and to uh, Kylie and Alex, uh, to Jacob and Alexis and Tyler. And then finally, I think of our seniors uh, who are just gonna have a very memorable graduation. Um, I am Glad that you guys made it to the finish line or are about to make it to the finish line, but I know it hasn't come without some trauma. So a special shout out to uh, Brian and Angelica and Danny and Hannah, who I also get to see on a fairly regular basis, uh, Caitlin and Sydney. Uh, and I would be remiss to say that obviously there are some college students as well who still stay connected with us. Um, but I don't think I want to lump their names in with the other kids. Uh, I think they're trying to separate themselves and move a little bit closer to adulthood. So let me just speak uh, kind of to that odd age group of um, young people, uh, at least as it relates to Jesus. Uh, I want to give a special scripture passage for you today, which um, has been meaningful to me over the years, and I hope it also can be meaningful to you during this time. Uh, this passage comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, specifically verses 13 through 15, which say this, Then people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. And these are the blessed and eternal words of our God. You know, I know there are a lot of things that are in upheaval. I know there are a lot of things that you're not used to right now. Uh, probably seeing mom and dad and um, maybe grandma and grandpa a lot more than you were used to, uh, being confined into the same house. Uh, I know a lot of you have had to deal with school in all new and complicated ways, and for some people, maybe they've liked it. Uh, for a lot of people, I know they haven't liked it. 
Uh, this is just a weird time period right now. And um, I know even at home, uh, mom and dad and the adults have a lot of fear and anxiety uh, and uncertainty about what the world is supposed to be looking like and what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, it can be very easy to think that you are kind of an afterthought in this or lost in a drift um, and without your normal tethers. Uh, but what I see in that Bible passage is a lot of hope uh, that in the world of busy adults, people thought maybe Jesus just needed to focus on the adults. So when parents were bringing their kids, because they love them, uh, they were bringing them to Jesus so that he could bless them and pray for them, because that's important for us to be blessed by the Lord. Uh, even Jesus' own disciples thought, this is a bad idea, don't um, worry about interrupting Jesus. He's too busy for you. And yet Jesus rebuked them and said, let the little kids come to me for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And after Jesus laid hands on them and prayed for them and blessed them, then he went on from there to do the other things that he had to do. And I want you to remember that in this time, uh, that you are loved uh, regardless of what else is going on in the world. You're loved by your families, you're loved by your church family, and you are especially loved by the Lord Jesus himself who wants to bless you even through these crazy times. So remember that and hold on to that uh, until we're able to see each other again and other people are able to lay hands on you and pray for you. But let me take a moment just now to offer a prayer, even virtually, on your behalf. So let's pray together. Father in heaven, we are thankful uh, that you are the creator of the world, that you know the world and what's going on in the world, and you are in control of all things. So even during this time of pandemic, uh, we pray that you would be watching over your little ones, your precious ones, all of the children and youth who know you, not only in our congregation, Lord, but around the world. I pray that you provide for their daily needs, that you protect them in their health, uh, not only in their bodies, but also in their minds and in their spirits. Uh, and that, Lord, you would be using this time to shape them and form them more and more into the young men and young women that you are causing them to grow up to be. So we dedicate them to you, and we ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And for the children and for the adults, in our times of isolation, the peace of God be with you.